Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm very excited about this review as I was very excited about seeing this film, The Disaster Artist. Now, I was given this book as a gift, and I haven't read through the whole entire thing, but I've read a decent amount of it, and this story is so weird and fascinating, and Tommy Wiseau is such an enigma, and getting a chance to like see behind the curtain a little bit I was very excited about this film and just everyone involved with like James Franco, Dave Franco, Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg everyone going in and making this film like this could be a really special interesting thing and it was I really enjoyed this film a lot and there's a couple of big things that I'm going to talk about that took this away from being an amazing film but I really, really love this. I really enjoyed this, and I'd watch this over and over and over again, honestly. And in terms of this was written and direct, this was directed by James Franco, starring James Franco about the making of the room and this French, more importantly, the friendship between Greg Sestero and Tommy Wiseau, because that's the heart of this film. And it really focuses a lot on that. The first 40 minutes, they're not even making the room. Spoiler alert. So, like, you really get to see their relationship building up. And James Franco, I think, does a really good job of telling this story and building up different aspects of the story. And I think holding at the beginning on their friendship was so important, and they really built that up and made that connection before they jumped into the fun of showing how the film was, um, how the room was actually made. One thing that I do have a problem with is I feel like this film is a little too condensed and a little rushed, where if there's moments that wind up feeling this is a movie, or some of the characters don't get as fleshed out, or they're kind of like two-dimensional or not, don't get a whole lot to do, including the girlfriend of Greg, played by Allison Brie, and some of the other supporting characters don't get a whole lot of depth, but between Greg and Tommy, these are two super interesting characters, and you really get to feel for both of them, and I think they do that very well. The tone of this film is actually really heartfelt and endearing, and not just like this is a joke throughout, and it hits some dark, heavier moments, and it does it well, and they did, James Franco did a really good job of handling this film, and it does hit emotionally at moments, and surprisingly hard at moments, and I'm like, holy crap, James Franco, look at you, and it actually made me excited to see some other things that he might make, cinematography done by Brandon Trost, this film has such a late 90s, early 2000s look to it, and they did that so well with the cinematography, and I think that's what really made you feel in the moment of this film is they really tried to recreate, it's technically a period piece, because like, it's like, started like 20 years ago, and it's like, holy crap, and they do a really good job with the cinematography, Trost does a nice job of giving that vibe, and that little graininess, making it look a little late 90s, the writers are Scott Nostabler and Michael H. Weber, and the story is very interesting, and they hit on some very interesting aspects. And like I said, some of the a lot of the supporting characters are like one dimensional and like just there, but you really get a fleshed out Greg, a fleshed out Tommy, and you really feel for them and their relationship so endearing. And I'll talk about the on screen chemistry between them, which probably makes sense, but I'll get to that in a little bit. But I think that the characters, there's some two very very interesting characters and a lot of fun funly written supporting cast and <laughs> there's some moments that really hit for me and some surprising performances but in terms of the dialogue it feels really natural and it makes sense and also a little nods if you've seen the room which I'll admit I absolutely despise the room I think it's a piece of crap I'd never want to watch that film again I'll watch clips on YouTube of some of the moments but I'll never watch that again I don't find it fun sitting there watching garbage for two hours which it is garbage and the fact that people find so much fun in watching the whole entire thing start to finish I think it's just like no but the story behind it is so fascinating so wonderful 
and like the little hints to some of the lines throughout it's really funny and I think it's honestly sharply written and it deals with themes of feeling like an outsider and chasing your dreams and friendship and what that truly means and it's really heartfelt really endearing and really true and grounded which I didn't expect from this film the composer Dave Porter the music was fine with like the sound and the score but like the soundtrack was so on point with so many great things like epic like faith no more was so well utilized in this film in moments and just like all the music was so well done like never gonna give you up oh my god this film used some great choices in music and they fit so well and really elevated the film the acting james franco was amazing in this film and i wouldn't be surprised if he gets oscar buzz for this film his performance as tommy wiseau is so weird and amazing and somehow believable all at once and it was really crazy to watch and his chemistry with his brother dave franco who played greg was amazing you really felt their connection and honestly dave franco does a really nice job playing greg sestero who is obviously the much less interesting of the two but really does a good job of making you feel for greg and does a really good job seth rogan and paul shearer as the dp and the script supervisor they lend a lot of laughs and honestly some like harsh commentary and some very tense moments in this film and i'm like you go guys i was a little surprised about that but they do a really nice job and one quick shout out to zach efron for his role in this movie i'm not going to spoil who he plays and stuff but i laughed so hard during his parts in this film i loved it so much and honestly this is a very hilarious yet affecting film on the passions of reaching your dreams and wanting to be part of hollywood and really friendship and this is surprisingly heartfelt really well done very well crafted film and honestly that is why i'm going to give the disaster artist an a minus